silver-haired old lady with a honk if you love Jesus sticker on the bumper of her car. Welcome back. It's 11.50, 10 minutes before high noon here on AM 950, the voice of Minnesota, your Sunday morning indulgence and your reminder that sometimes there's things in this world that make you say cripes and come on and you got to be kidding me. But we are given an opportunity to not be stuck with those things. We are ones who can make choices in this world. And maybe we want a world where we don't have to just bemoan that things aren't the way they're supposed to be and we can be those who say right on, right on. a thing or two. But there's some things in this world that are all right. Yeah. Some things that are okay. Okay. I mean, they're 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 in between. They're 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 they're, they're less than common. Bussy assi. What is that? I like it. It's it's what Spanish. It? For what? It, when you ask, you know, how are you? You say assi assi. It's like yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Assi assi. Yeah. yeah. Does it come with it with with a hand with a hand wave like? I like, often do. You know, left to right. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Assi assi. Mm-hmm. You know, what I say to people often when they say how are you, I say I'm fine. And you know what? Some people come back with. Just fine. <laughs> really? Oh, I, I hear it regularly. Try it. Try when people say, hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine. See how often people are like, fine isn't good enough. Well, because fine means fouled up, insecure, neurotic, and emotional. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Cripes, come on, you got to be kidding me. I award a, uh, a title to a happening in the week. Okay. The Cripes for this week goes to the cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul for their brilliant idea of what to do with the snow by just pushing it to the side on some of the streets. Yeah. I mean, cripes. It is it is beyond <laughs> belief that the best idea they could come up with was, yeah. we'll just say you can't park on one side of the street, and then most of the city they haven't even they haven't even come through twice. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing. I don't know how many snowplows there are in the city of Minneapolis. Maybe three, yeah. because I've I haven't <laughs> seen one since last Sunday. I haven't seen a snowplow on the streets of Minneapolis since last Sunday. I, I think they've just I think they've hung it up. They're like, yeah, you know. So cripes goes out to those people with their planning. Here's why. Not because there's too much snow. I get there's 20,000 street corners, yada, 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 and there's a lot of snow. It's because they've said, we can't do anything. We can't. Yeah. We're going to keep the same plan that we have for a 6-inch snow when there's a 20-inch snow. Mm-hmm. Cripes. Need a better plan than that. All right, here we go. I, gotta take, I can't take all the time on that because i got a lot of time to spend on the oh, come on, and you got to be kidding me. Okay. The come on, the come on goes out to the Republicans and the Democrats on this deal that they struck on the budget. Because they call the compromise. Yeah. But it especially goes out to El Presidente. Because he said, you know what we had to do? We had to compromise. And then went on to describe a compromise as when the other side gets something. (laughs) It's not a compromise when the person you're negotiating with gets something. A compromise is when you say, I didn't get everything I wanted. Yeah. They didn't get everything they wanted. Yeah. But we both got enough that made this a good deal. Mm -hmm. You gave a little. You didn't get everything you wanted. They gave a little, didn't get everything they wanted. You don't get to call it a compromise when you say the other side got the only thing they wanted. (laughs) Right? (laughs) Like, that's just being mean-spirited. Like, here's what we really wanted. We wanted everything that was to our advantage, and we wanted them to get Get nothing. 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 And because they got something, we'll call that a compromise. Yeah. It's it's not it's it's not the spirit of compromise. It's what's wrong with politics like that is that that's not helpful to anyone. It's as if they assume, and here's why they get the come on. It's as if they assume that the other people getting anything is a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's it is just like instead of saying here's my way of viewing it, here's the way I think is important. This is what I think the priorities ought to be, and I can see that you see that differently. So I'm going to give up something that I want. When 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 the Obama side of that debate says to the Republican side of that debate, we got everything we wanted. The only thing we didn't get was keeping you from getting what you wanted. Like if they had said, you know what we had to give up? We had to give up uh, Social Security reduction tax break Mm -hmm. or we had to give up some amount of money that was going into funding Medicare and Medicaid. And we really wanted that, but we couldn't get that. Mm -hmm. Instead, they said, we got everything we wanted, and so did they, and that's a compromise. That is not compromise. That's a win-win. That's a win-win. I know you hate that Oh, I cannot stand it. It's a (laughs) win-win. Winning doesn't mean anything if there's not a loser, so you can't have a win-win. Just don't use the sports metaphor. Cripes. To the Minneapolis uh, snow removal 
notion. You just push it to the side of the road and say, don't park there. Come on. Compromise is something more than the other side getting something. And the fact that we've that we've now institutionalized this as that's a sufficient compromise drives me crazy. Come on, here's the come on. Or here's the, here's the you got to be kidding me. You got to be kidding me. Goes out to the garbage removal people in the city of Minneapolis. <laughs> now let me tell you why. What is up? Well, let me let me let me tell you why. I did a little uh, remodeling in a house. Okay. We put some stuff out to be picked up by uh, 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 a garbage pickup people we had to hire separately, a, a dumpster guy. Mm-hmm. So we put it out, and we get a little note on Friday of last week that says, hey, this stuff that's sitting here, you got to move it. You, yeah. can't, you can't leave it here, or the city's going to come in, and we're going we're, we're gonna to clean it up for you. And, yeah. and on Saturday, Snowmageddon. Right. The stuff is piled in, in snow that's, you know, on top of it, it's, it's a mound, it, it's insurmountable. So I call the garbage pickup guy, and he says, we are swamped this week. We cannot get over there to pick that stuff up. All of our dumpsters are being taken, all of our trucks, like, this is a killer week. We can't get there. I go over there yesterday. Yeah. The city of Minneapolis had come in, <laughs> shoveled off the snow, <laughs> and threw the garbage away. They can't go to the street corner and move the snow off the street corner, but they got a couple of guys with shovels and snowblowers who, in the middle of this week, when they're not clearing the sidewalks and the streets, are out there digging out this little pile of of building supplies in one alley and moving it. And just to stick you with the bill for that. I don't, I, I'm not taking it personally. It's just that you've got to be kidding me. You had time to like go through your sheet and say, hey, you know what, last Friday before that big snow, we gave that guy a note and we told him he had five days and because he didn't do it within the five days, we're going to go out there and move it. I couldn't believe it. Unbelievable. Yeah. I, I just stood there looking at it like, you have got to be kidding me. Now, the nice thing is they, they, they cleared all the snow out from that little spot. So the one place in Minneapolis where it's nice and clean is around my garbage spot that now cost me $150 for them to come and move it. Maybe the garbage people and the snow removal people need to switch jobs. Maybe they need to partner up. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe these, these garbage removal people have enough time to go around. Maybe they could, you know. So if you want the corner of your house cleaned up, here's what you do. <laughs> you lay a bunch of garbage out there, and then they'll come by and clean it up for you. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> City of Minneapolis. Cities of St. Paul. In Minneapolis, you both get the cripes because this is just totally unreasonable. To a week later, still be saying you just can't park there. Come on, compromise is more than the other side getting something, and you got to be kidding me that they could manage up enough energy to do one part of snow removal on the spot where my garbage was for $150. World doesn't have to be like this. Nope. We could all move to Phoenix. And two out of the three things will be done away with. We got the curmudgeon. The guy sitting in the studio won't even smile here after the break. Tony Jones in the house. Going to tell us about religion in 2010. We'll be back here after the break. Stick with us.